Hi, my name is Cliff, and I was diagnosed with dyslexia when I was in third grade. That was a very frustrating time for me. Um, according to all the adults in my life, I was the most precocious kid that I'd ever met. Um, and so when I couldn't learn how to read, it drove me crazy. And I remember sitting in the public library every other day for hours at a desk trying to read a book, and I just could not get the hang of it. It would take me so long. It was so slow and boring. It drove me crazy. And at that point in my life, my sister, who is three years younger than me, was already reading better than me. So dyslexia is definitely something that I've had to learn how to cope with, but you can learn how to cope with it. And in fact, right now, I love the fact that I'm dyslexic and I would not give it up for the world because it gives me a bunch of fantastic advantages that I would not want to be without. But you do need to learn how to cope. So here is one of my favorite tricks uh, for how to beat dyslexia. It's called text-to-speech and I'm going to teach you how to activate it on your Mac. You don't need to buy anything or download anything. It's very, very simple. So the first thing you want to do is go to System Preferences. Once you do that, you want to click the button with uh, the little microphone icon. Click Dictation and Speech. Once you do that, you want to t click Text to Speech. Press Speak Selected Text when the key is pressed. And then you want to press Change Key. And what you want to do is, in the bottom left corner of your keyboard, there's a button called Option between Control and Command. Press Option, and without letting go, press Escape. Now you want to press OK. What you just did means that whatever text you highlight on your computer with your mouse, and then press Option, Hold, Escape, you're going to activate text-to-speech, and it's going to read it out to you. Now, the preset voice is pretty mechanical. Most people recognize me by my voice. So the first thing you want to do is change the voice. The way you do that is press Customize and choose Samantha to download it. This is the best boy voice by far. Um, and then you want to pick Samantha. Now, the normal speed is pretty good. Hello, my name is Samantha. I am an American English voice. But to make it sound more fluid and like a human is reading it, I suggest upgrading the speed to here. Uh, and now you can go anywhere on your computer and highlight the text and it'll read it out to you. So if I go to Wikipedia, highlight the text and press Option, Escape, it'll read it out to me. Brown University is an American private Ivy League research university located in Providence, Rhode Island. Founded in 1764 prior to American independence from the British Empire as the college in the English colony of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations. Brown is the third oldest institution of higher education in New England and seventh oldest in the United States. Five. To stop it, I again pressed Option Escape. Now this program is amazing because after a while you get used to how the voice sounds and you can start listening to it faster. So here is the speed that I listen to this at. Again, option escape to activate. Brown University is an American private Ivy League research university located in Providence, Rhode Island. Founded in 1764 prior to American independence from the British Empire as the college in the English colony of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations. Brown is the third oldest institution of higher education in New England and seventh oldest in the United States. Five, the university consists of the college, graduate school, Albert Medical School, and the School of Engineering. Brown was the first college in the nation to accept students regardless of religious affiliation. Six. I press option escape to stop it. Now this method literally allows me to go through material three times as fast as I could read it. I've timed myself. And my comprehension when I listen to it at this speed is perfect. I don't miss anything. And so I can take senior level philosophy courses at Brown and deal with a class as well if not better than my peers because of this method, even though I'm dyslexic. So I hope this helps and I hope that you have a good time. And leave any questions below if I can help in anything else. Good luck.